The lifting of restrictions on travelers from the Bay State, obviously good news for Maine's restaurant industry, which has taken a pretty big hit since the pandemic started. But many eateries are worried about staying afloat as these temperatures continue to drop and winter draws closer. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee is live in Portland to tell us more, Viv. Well, Amanda, more than a dozen Portland restaurants have temporarily closed or shut their doors for good. Now, restaurants that have made it up to this point, thanks to outdoor dining, as you can see behind me, are trying to come up with creative ways to get them through the winter safely. Like many restaurants, Little Giant only offered curbside pickup for weeks until being allowed to reopen in June. Federal loans, participating in cooking for community, and a demand for alfresco dining helped the restaurant bounce back this summer. Not everybody, um, you know, has has the benefit of having um, a nice sunny corner like what like we did that you know, allowed us to be active for six to eight weeks. Malin didn't expand to indoor dining because of COVID concerns. As cold temperatures set in, customers are dropping off despite setting up butane heat lamps. Encouraging people to bring blankets uh, and bundle up a little bit. We think that we can get to November 1st. At DeMillo's restaurant in the Old Port, sales are down 50% compared to last year. PPE funding helped this business bring back nearly three quarters of its employees. Owner Steve DeMillo says restrictions on travelers from Massachusetts were tough. Losing them for the summer was, you know, pretty devastating to our sales. Uh, but we, we, we're happy they're coming back. The floating restaurant is offering indoor and outdoor seating on its lounge deck. There are plexiglass separators at the bar. Natural gas heaters and plastic coverings are being used to help keep diners who still prefer to eat outdoors toasty. Well, I'm planning to bring a lap robe or a blanket and uh, try it out. Also looming, streets that were closed or used to expound outdoor seating for restaurants will reopen to traffic November 1st. Mallon, in the meantime, may reconfigure an outdoor courtyard to use for customers through the winter and possibly hold catered events indoors for limited groups to survive until next year. One table, one pod, one group of people who are familiar with each other. Now, Hospitality Maine is lobbying the state to allow restaurants to expand their indoor seating from 50 people right now per space to 50% of their occupancy with six foot distancing. And this afternoon, CDC Director Dr. Nurov Shah said that he, they're studying the proposed policy change and that finding a balance between the businesses and customers and staff, of course, is key. And we'll have more on that coming up at six o'clock. Reporting live from Portland's Old Port, I'm New Center Maine's Vivian Lee.